Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. In this lecture, you'll see how to configure syslog with a lab demo. I'm using the same simple topology again. I've got my router R1 at 10.0.0.1, and I've got my NMS network monitoring system at 10.0.0.100. That's going to act as the syslog server. And I'm actually on 10.0.0.100 right now. I've currently got a console session open with the router. You can see that there. And I'm going to open up a telnet session as well. So you can see the difference with the logging in the console and over the VTY line. So I'll go to Putty and I'll telnet to 10.0.0.1 and log in here. Should I click in the right window and put in my password? Okay, so that's me logged in over Telnet as well. And I'll come to the, the bigger console window and I'll do a show logging to look at the current state. This is at the defaults right now. So you can see that the default logging level is debugging. And I'm going to be logging to the console and the buffer by default, not to the monitor, which is my telnet and my SSH session. We can see that working if I go to the telnet session and I'll go to interface fast 3 slash 0. Now let's check and see if it's shut or not shut right now. So I'll do show IP interface brief. And 3.0, it's not actually being used. It's currently admin up. So let's shut down that interface. And when I do that, we should see there's the logging message showing up in the console window. It doesn't show up in the telnet window because logging is not enabled to your VTY line by default. Okay, let's do some configuring then. So you could see that we do have logging enabled to the console right now. Let's turn that off. So I could do that in either window here, either in my telnet or my console window. I will go to global config and do no logging console to turn off logging to the console. And I do want to enable logging to my telnet session and let's make it logging to its monitor for your VTY lines. Let's set it at level five. And also I'm gonna make sure that terminal monitor is enabled in here as well. Now, if I go back to interface fast three slash zero and I will do a no shut on there now and you'll see that it should get logged to my telnet session. There it is there. And it didn't get logged to the console session because I disabled logging on there. Okay, another thing I'll do is let's just configure logging to the buffer as well. So for that, I will say logging buffer. Let's make it seven, which is what it was at already anyway. And if I now do a show logging, I can see that logging is disabled to the console. I've got it set to level five, which is notifications to monitor logging, which is for my telnet and SSH sessions. And buffer logging is at the debugging level. You can also see how many messages were received in each of them as well. There are different values there because I've been playing with the logging values. Okay, also while we're in here at the show logging, if I hit the spacebar to scroll down, you'll see all of my logging events are in the logging buffer. I did a debug of ICMP earlier when I was doing a ping. So that's where you see all of those ICMP events in there. Also the interface going up and down that I was just doing a minute ago as well. 
Okay, so that's pretty much it for our internal logging and configuring that. Let's also do some external logging as well. So right now I have installed the free Kiwi syslog server on my PC here, which is at 10.0.0.100. I haven't done any logging to it yet. So let's set that up now. So I'll go back onto the command line on my router and at global config, I'll set logging to my syslog server at 10.0.0.100 and I'll set the severity level of events that I want to send there. So I'll say logging trap and I'll choose the debugging level. And now if I go back to that interface fast 3 slash 0, I'll do a do show IP interface brief again. I can see it's currently administratively shut down. So I'll do a no shutdown on that interface and I should see that getting logged. So I see it being logged here in my telnet session and I also see it being logged on the syslog server as well. And if I then do a shutdown again, I'll see that being logged in both locations as well. Okay, so that was how to configure syslog. See you in the next lecture. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.